In today's video, we are going to recap the 2006 American romantic teen comedy, She's the Man. Warning, spoilers ahead. The movie begins with Viola Hastings playing soccer on the beach with a group of other girls. We see her transferring saliva hormones with her boyfriend Justin who tells her that she's getting a lot better at soccer, admitting that she might even be better than half the guys on Justin's team. Viola is a high school soccer player who learns that the girls' team at her school, Cornwall, is being cut due to there being not enough players. The girls' team approach the coach of the boys' team saying that they would like to try out for the boys' team, to which the coach just laughs in their face. The boys all come in to find out what is going on, only for them to also laugh at the idea of having the girls join their team. The couch then makes some misogynistic comments about why boys are better than girls at playing soccer. In a last attempt, Viola asks for Justin's opinion since he's the captain of the boys' team, to which he responds that he thinks that the coach has said it all. Viola raises the point that Justin previously mentioned she was better than half the boys in his team, but after being put on the spot, Justin denies having made the comment. Viola decides to end their relationship in front of everyone. With everyone walking away, Justin tells Viola that he just doesn't want Viola getting hurt, to which she tells him that he's just full of bull manure and throws the soccer ball at his face. The next scene we see Sebastian's girlfriend Monique confusing Viola for her brother. Viola has a twin brother Sebastian, who she resembles physically. Monique comes across as entitled, and she clearly doesn't have a great relationship with Viola, who also seems to enjoy getting under her skin. On arriving home, Viola's mother, Daphne, looks to have been waiting near the door, excited that she has some surprise for her daughter, hoping to perk her up. On opening her eyes, and to Viola's disappointment, she sees that her mother has gotten her some gowns. Viola tries to tell Daphne that she has no interest in being a debutante. Viola prefers the comfortable look of being a tomboy. Daphne is visibly happy to hear that Viola's team has been cut, although less impressed when she hears that her daughter is no longer in a relationship with Justin. Daphne seems to have an attraction to Justin, commenting about his chiseled body and handsome looks, and is shown contemplating the possibility of getting with the boy. Viola goes into Sebastian's room to have a chat, telling him that Monique was looking for him. She asks him why they're going out and he just responds that he thinks that she's hot, suggesting that it's a guy thing. Sebastian is packing his bags and begins throwing all his things out his bedroom window. He says that their mum thinks he's at their dad's and vice versa, mentioning that it is one of the positives of having divorced parents. Sebastian is planning to visit London secretly for a couple of weeks so that he can play with his band that got a slot in a music festival. Sebastian asks Viola to cover for him by telling the school that he is sick. Sebastian was recently expelled from Cornwall for skipping too many classes. On hearing the chatter in the room, Daphne comes in, only narrowly missing Sebastian who had just gone through the window. Viola acts as if she was on the phone instead. Daphne tries again to get Viola excited about the idea of wearing the dresses, but Viola again says that she isn't interested. While leaving the room, Daphne comments that Viola may as well be her brother, which gives Viola an idea as she compares herself in the mirror to a picture of Sebastian. Viola has decided to pass herself off as Sebastian and join the boys' soccer team at Illyria. If she isn't allowed to join the team at Cornwall, Viola will try to beat them instead. In the next scene we see Viola with her friends, Kia and Yvonne, trying to convince their gay friend Paul to help them with their newfound plan. Paul reluctantly agrees. We're shown the transformation process as Paul tries different disguises to make Viola look more masculine. There are cutaways showing Viola following closely behind random men on the street as she mimics their walking styles and mannerisms, occasionally getting caught in the process, which she brushes off by quickly walking away. Viola will also be required to hide her breasts, by wrapping some cloth around her chest to act as a corset. She'll also have to put something of substance into her pants to give the illusion that she is packing. While leaving the house, Viola is intercepted by her mother asking her where she is going. Viola says that she is going to spend the next two weeks at her dad's place. In order to convince her mum, Viola lies and says that Monique will also be there, which will allow her to better learn how to be a debutante, somewhat agreeing that she'll be going to all the upcoming events. It doesn't seem that Viola fully realizes what she has committed herself to while trying to simply brush off her mother. Regardless, Daphne seems excited about the sudden turn of events, her daughter is finally going to be a lady. The next scene we see Viola getting out of the car in front of Illyria, now impersonating Sebastian, suddenly turning to Paul, and having doubts on whether she will be able to pull off the look and act. They both quickly got through the things that she has learned, including the somewhat unconvincing male voice, and they both hug deciding that Viola is now ready. At Illyria, Viola's roommate is Duke Orsino, a good-looking striker on the soccer team. Their first encounter is incredibly awkward, as you would expect. They notice Viola looks young, but she responds that she skipped a few grades as a result of being brilliant. 
while unpacking, a box of tampons fall out of the bag, and all the boys in the room immediately start getting suspicious. Viola somehow convinces them that they're used for her really bad nosebleeds, and provides an example, to which the guys just laugh, and conclude that Viola is just a bit of a freak. We next see Viola at the soccer tryouts, but Viola's soccer skills are still not good enough to make first string. It looks like Viola may not be able to play in the game against Cornwall after all. After the tryouts everyone goes to the change rooms, where Viola is concerned that she'll get found out while having a shower, but the coach comes to the rescue just in time, telling her that the principal would like to see her in his office. The principal just wanted to welcome Sebastian to the school, being a transfer student himself back in the day, he makes sure to keep an eye on transfer students at Illyria, to act as some sort of unofficial big brother. He suggests that he'll pop in unannounced from time to time. While leaving the office Viola runs into the student Olivia. They both start to get along, until Viola realizes that she's being too much like her old self and not responding the way that Sebastian would. This encounter seems to leave a positive impression on Olivia. Viola joins Duke and his friends table at the cafeteria, trying to get a reaction from them that the soccer tryouts being a joke. They don't respond the way that Viola expects, so she then starts talking about the upcoming match against Cornwall. The guys don't seem too phased, asking why she has a particular interest in this upcoming game, to which Viola mentions that Sebastian has a sister that goes to that school. The boys then ask Viola if her sister is hot, to which she replies, I guess so. Then Olivia comes into the cafeteria with a friend, to which we find out that Duke has a crush on her. Viola tries to have a shower in the evening but another student, Malcolm, comes in, and then Duke. Viola's encounters with anyone don't seem to become any less cringeworthy. Viola has a nightmare about being called in from the bench due to an injury on field, although in this scene she is her usual female self. As Viola approaches the goals, her ex Justin is the goalie. When she goes to kick, Viola misses the ball completely, causing Justin and everyone else to begin laughing at her while she is on the ground. Viola is then woken up by some water getting tossed onto her face, and she opens her eyes to be grabbed and lifted out of bed by some masked men, before getting taken away. Viola and some other new students are surrounded by a larger group to begin what looks like the soccer team's initiation, and they're instructed to remove their clothes and strip. Viola is conveniently able to sneak away far enough to pull the emergency alarm lever, causing the water sprinklers to go off. Everyone leaves in a panic. Viola's safe for another day. Paul receives a call from Viola, who wants to quit, admitting that everyone just thinks that she is some sort of geek, plus she's likely not to be on the team that plays against Cornwall. She's also repulsed that she still hasn't been able to shower properly. Paul can't help with the soccer playing side of things but has an idea that might help Viola with her popularity. Kia and Yvonne agree to help Viola make her alter ego seem popular by pretending to be in love with her as Sebastian. Duke and his friends are impressed enough by the performance and decide that they need to re-evaluate their initial thoughts on Viola. This is when Monique appears, one of Duke's friends tries to hit on her, but she's repulsed by his attempts, and asks them if they know where her boyfriend Sebastian is. Once again, the boys are shocked, pointing Monique in Viola's direction. While trying to avoid having her face seen by Monique, Viola runs around the pizzeria, publicly breaking up with Monique in the process. Everyone in the pizzeria clap to congratulate Viola, and Duke and his friends seem impressed again about the whole performance, not understanding why Voila is so popular with all the attractive women. The next day at school shows that Viola's reputation as Sebastian has completely changed, everyone clapping and congratulating her for being such a stud. The other girls seem equally impressed and start to show more interest in her existence. The guys are now coming to her for advice on their relationships. During biology class, Viola is paired up with Olivia, who Duke has admitted that he has a hormone thing for. However, Olivia appears to be getting more attracted to Viola because of her more sensitive nature that is showing through. Duke is initially jealous about the lab partner arrangement but realizes that this might be a good opportunity for Viola to put in a good word for him with Olivia. In exchange for Viola's help Duke promises to put in extra soccer practice time with her to get Viola up to the first string team, the team that will be playing against Cornwall. Viola begins training more seriously, as well as finding a better routine to avoid being detected. After spending more time with Duke, Viola realizes that she has started to get attracted to him. The extra practice seems to pay off for Viola as she begins showing improvement. Viola is nearly uncovered by the principal during a phone call, while playing with her wig. The principal isn't suspicious for the right reasons though, and jumps to the conclusion that Viola is using the wig due to early onset male pattern baldness, and being bald himself, just provides advice on coming to terms with being bald. The chicks dig it apparently. During biology class, Olivia continues to develop a crush on Viola. While talking to Olivia about Duke, Viola admits that Olivia is not her type, 
which visibly shocks and disappoints Olivia. Viola gives Olivia the advice to go out with Duke instead, which she then considers. After looking closer at the dissection, Viola passes out on the floor. Duke is stoked to hear about the recent developments but admits to not being great at talking to girls, so Viola decides to give him some practice by running through one-on-one -on -one scenarios. Viola's mother calls their dorm thinking that she's leaving a message for Sebastian, reminding Viola about the carnival tomorrow. While arriving at the carnival, Viola sees Monique approaching her so she darts away and quickly gets changed into a dress. Viola goes to see her mom to prove that she was at the carnival, hoping to quickly duck away again, but is told that she has the next shift at the kissing booth. While running away, Viola first runs into Duke, but then Justin, who says that he's been trying to call her and that they shouldn't have broken up over such a small issue, but Viola doesn't agree and slaps Justin instead, before continuing to run away. While on a carnival ride, Viola somehow manages to dress back up as Sebastian, only to be spotted by Monique and chased around the carnival grounds. Just as Duke was next to kiss Olivia, who was manning the kissing booth, Viola in her female appearance shows up to take Olivia's place. Duke is visibly disappointed, and tries to explain himself to Viola, and they still decide to kiss. While they make out, Justin arrives and starts getting defensive. While making it look as though he's walking away, Justin quickly turns to punch Duke in the face, and they start to brawl on the ground. Viola tries to intervene only for everyone to get kicked out of the carnival. On arriving back at the dorm room, Viola encounters Duke and he tells, who he thinks is Sebastian, about having kissed his sister at the carnival. Duke seems to be having mixed emotions about the whole situation, but Viola tells him that he should ask her out. Duke opens up about being more sensitive than most guys, which makes Viola even more attracted to him. While at the gym, Duke admits that he wants to call Sebastian's sister to ask her out. On seeing Viola putting in the extra training with Duke, Coach Dinklage promotes Viola to first string, meaning that she will be able to play against Cornwall after all. Olivia is still attracted to Viola's version of Sebastian and is convinced by her friend to go out with Duke to make him jealous. Just as Duke was going to call Viola, Olivia approaches Duke and starts making some serious moves, asking whether he has any plans later that night. Seeing all this unfold, Viola tries to call Duke, only to be told that he has changed his mind, clearly being too distracted by Olivia in the present. Viola chases after Olivia to try and talk her out of going out with Duke, only for Olivia to feel as though the attempt to make Viola jealous is working perfectly, so she continues to play along. While on the date, it's made obvious that Duke and Olivia don't have a lot in common, Viola makes an appearance with Eunice, and the two are glad to have someone else there to break up the awkwardness. Olivia suddenly perks up, looking a lot livelier being seated in front of Viola, although starting to put on her act again of being interested in Duke. While Olivia makes out with Duke, Eunice tries to get it on with Viola, only for Viola to abruptly leave saying that she needed to go shave. Olivia, also excusing herself and thanking Duke for the date, the plot is then further complicated when Sebastian leaves Monique a message telling her that he was returning back a day early from London. Viola goes to a debutante event for her mother Daphne, although Olivia is also there, causing Viola to not stick to the strict debutante etiquette to the horror of everyone around her. When Olivia goes to the bathroom, Viola follows. Once the two get to talking, Viola makes up a story about Duke being a bad kisser after her experience at the kissing booth, although Olivia admits that she's not interested in Duke, Instead she is just trying to make Viola's version of Sebastian jealous. As you'd expect, Viola tries to provide some advice about coming out and being honest. Monique then comes out of one of the bathroom cubicles, getting angry at Olivia, calling her a home wrecker for being attracted to Sebastian, still in denial that she has been dumped by Sebastian. The three girls all start fighting in the bathroom, with Viola and Olivia trying to take Monique down. Girl on girl action. The debutante ladies outside can hear all the commotion going on, resulting in someone coming in to break up the fight. One of the other school students Malcolm, who has been jealous of Olivia's attraction towards Viola as Sebastian, tries to convince the principal that Viola is hiding something. While not being convinced at first, Viola walks by as Sebastian while on the phone to her mother using her feminine voice talking about dresses and high heels. The principal continues protecting Viola, not convinced of Malcolm's accusations. The next scene shows the real Sebastian arriving in a taxi at the school. Olivia takes on Viola's advice from before and decides to run up and start making out with Sebastian with her eyes closed. Sebastian doesn't say anything at first, but once Olivia has left after whispering that she'll see him at the game tomorrow, comments that he's got a feeling that he's going to like this school, oblivious about everything that has been going on. Duke witnesses the whole encounter and thinks that his roommate has betrayed him. We're then shown Monique listening to her answering machine, receiving the message from Sebastian while at the airport, telling her that he was going to be coming home a day early and that they needed to talk. Viola goes to the dorm room only to find Duke angry. 
Viola is initially confused, but finally realizes what has happened, only to get kicked out of their dorm room, but Duke doesn't want anything else to do with Sebastian and Viola. We see the student Malcolm still investigating Sebastian, only to uncover that he had a twin, finally making the connection. At this time, Monique is shown knocking on the dorm room door, only for it to be answered by Duke, who gives her what he thinks is Sebastian's phone, but she knows that it isn't his phone. After overhearing her yelling for Sebastian, Malcolm comes out to intercept Monique just as she receives a phone call from Justin, on the mobile Duke gave her, thinking that he'd finally gotten through to Viola. Monique and Malcolm now know Viola's dirty little secret. Viola bunks up with Eunice for the night, while Sebastian goes into the dorm room late with Duke already asleep. On the day of the big game, Monique and Malcolm reveal the truth about Viola to the principal. Viola has overslept, not being woken up in time by Eunice, who was instead creepily watching over her while she slept, holding a cupcake for what was supposed to Viola's breakfast. The parents of Viola and Sebastian are seated next to each other in the stands, mentioning that the principal had called them both with an emergency, only telling them to appear at Sebastian's game. This is when the parents quickly realize that Viola hadn't been staying with either parent for the last two weeks. The real Sebastian winds up on the field playing in what should be his sister's spot, looking rather confused about the whole ordeal. The real Sebastian has never been interested or good at playing soccer, which shows immediately on the field as he loses the ball as soon as it gets passed to him. Viola is shown heading down to the game and notices that it is Sebastian on the field. The principal then stops the game, wanting to do the big unveiling in front on everyone, but to their disappointment Sebastian proves that he really is a boy by yanking off his shorts and exposing his hormone stick. Luckily, Sebastian is well endowed, so everyone seems very impressed by his mid-game unveiling, despite also proving that he is male. The principal then turns his frustration towards Malcolm for having made him look bad during this whole ordeal. Sebastian is then put on the bench by the coach for being a bad player. At halftime, Viola uses this opportunity to explain the situation to Sebastian, and they decide to switch places again for the final half of the game. Being on the bench, Viola has to convince the coach first to let her play the second half of the game, to which he quickly agrees to for some reason. Duke is still angry with who he thinks is Sebastian, and refuses to pass the ball to Viola, allowing Cornwall to score. Viola tries to explain that she really is a girl, only to cause a fight on the field. Viola admits her love for Duke in front of everyone while still looking like Sebastian, with Olivia right next to her equally confused about everything, along with everyone else. Viola is finally able to convince Duke, and everyone else, by showing them her breasts. The Illyria team, including Duke, are all supportive of having Viola continue playing on their team. Cornwall's coach jumps in demanding them to forfeit, but Illyria's coach also supports Viola's, making the point that at their school they don't discriminate based on gender, so the game continues. During the game, a Cornwall player makes a foul against Viola, and receives a red card, resulting in a penalty kick. Viola's first shot is initially blocked by the goalie who is her ex-boyfriend Justin, only for Duke to pass her the ball again, which she kicks midair to score the winning goal for the game. Justin runs away crying. Viola officially introduces Olivia to the real Sebastian. Duke understandably is still hurt from Viola's deception, so he leaves the field without saying anything more. Back at the dorm room, Sebastian is shown entering to hand Duke a gift from Viola, along with an invitation to the debutante ball. Later we see Viola and Duke reconciling by the water, now both laughing about the unique way in which they got to know each other. They're then both shown walk down the debutante ball all side by side, happy, and being cheered on by the rest of the school. The movie ends with Viola playing on Illyria's soccer team, biting her lip as she chases after Duke's behind down the soccer field. That's all guys for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and don't want to miss the next movie spoilers.